power boat exhausts are totally different from sailing boat exhausts. The crucial difference is the fact that on a power boat, the engine is above waterline. Instead of the gas having to flow from engine to silencer, up for safety and away, the gas and the whole system can flow gradually downhill from the engine to the transom. Occasionally, we need to build in a little extra height here to get a good, safe gradient. Once again, the key point is that seawater mustn't come up from the outside of the boat back into the engine. Let's look at the way a powerboat system comes together. First of all, you have the hot gas leaving the engine. Then you have the cooling water being added to the hot gas through a spray head which pressurizes it and the temperature of the system will go from 500 centigrade here to 50 centigrade there. Very important, cooling the gases. The next component is the silencer. This silencer typically will reduce the noise level by 70%. It will also raise the gases in the boat so they come in at this level and flow away at that level. Alternatively, if the engine is higher in the boat, you don't need a lift silencer. You can go into an ordinary silencer and the gas and the cooling water from the engine will flow from the outlet at this height down to exit the hull here. The two types of silencers involved are totally different. The dual chamber here will literally reduce noise by 70% and it will reduce back pressure. The inline silencer is smaller, a lower cost, not quite so effective and not quite so good with back pressure. The system design always starts with the water line. So the need to raise the gases using a riser system up and above the water line before injecting the cooling water so the water flows away through the system and there's no danger of seawater coming back up through the system and up into the engine.